plot thickened uh, and uh, another card revealed itself. So what I want to do is update the reading and bring in the card that revealed itself and see if all of this happened for a reason. So let me see if I can get my flash on. There you go. This is one of my favorite decks. It was, I think, the very first card deck I ever bought and I'm in love with it. So what I'm, uh, we pulled, I, the first card was Thunder, which is the original card that was pulled. And the second card that revealed itself was the Mystical Shaman. Good morning. So what I'm going to do is update it. And what I want to show you is a little bit about this deck because a lot of people are really, um, on this page are into decks. What this deck offers you is an essence of the meeting and offers you an invitation. Good morning. It offers you an invitation. So this is if your card is upright and medicine, if the card is upside down, medicine is because shamanism believes that everything has medicine everything has a lesson to teach us because we are connected to the universe so what is the medicine there so the very first card that was brought up is is the card of thunder and as you can see the card of thunder is in the upright position and what this is referring to is a big dramatic change it talks about change that feels like a herd of bison on the run. You feel it through your bones and you know that you're powerless to influence whatever events have been set into motion. So when this card comes up, it's time to be prepared for whatever, for anything, because life is an adventure. And, you know, the trick is to learn to run with the things that come. Qualities that you'll need more than ever are flexibility, dexterity, dexterity and willingness to experience everything without dictating from where or what in what form opportunities will come. Your destination is arriving. Be ready. So that's a really dope card and it really speaks to, um, you know, a big moment coming in. So what's interesting is the second card that revealed itself revealed itself in reverse and it's called the mystical shaman. And, you know, the essence of this card is really being in that place within self where you are filling yourself up with the essence of being in the observer position, being in that place where you're letting the story unfold and you're perceiving it, but you are consciousness in the midst of it, right? So you're able to observe what's going on and dance between world and world knowing that you can create whatever reality is that you want. So to be observer, to travel through it, but don't be defined by the experiences or attached to the experiences. It's really a symbol of alchemy, knowing that you are a creator, knowing that whatever is going on is just an indication of where you are in time and space now, but the shaman knows that that they can create their own reality, right? So how do you stay in that place? Now, what's interesting about the way that this card revealed itself is the last card talked about not being too attached to form. But listen to this. So since this card is upside down, the medicine of this card is to be careful what you pray for. You're being cautioned against relentless attachment to a certain form that you think will make you happy, prosperous, famous, love, etc. However, in seeing your dream come into being, have you considered what you're willing to sacrifice for it? Perhaps you've been telling yourself a certain story for so long, the story that only when you reach this particular level or goal will you be happy. And then when you arrive, you didn't, you didn't even notice you're no longer the person who wanted those outcomes. You may be moved beyond those stories. Perhaps it's time to admit, yourself, admit to yourself that you need to imagine a new story that is more in alignment with who you have become. This is just one moment and millions of moments in the continuum of life. Let it go. Let it just be a story. Move on. Better tales are waiting to be told. Now, how perfectly do these cards go together? Talking about big change talking about being able to be rooted and letting go of attachment of how these new changes come and talking about our story and how it is that we may have held on too tight to the story and amidst all these changes we don't realize that we've become a different person and that story is not what we want that goal is not what we want that's amazing and that is so on time for me you don't even know so I'm really glad that things worked out the way that they did to allow for the expansion of this reading I hope there was something in here for it I hope you have a beautiful fabulous Friday and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.